angels so for today's video i'm doing something a little different that i usually don't do and that is a girl talk video <laughs> girl talk videos are some of my favorite types of youtube videos but i've only done like one maybe two on my channel the whole time i've been on youtube i went on instagram on my finsta and my actual instagram and i asked you guys to just send me anything you wanted me to talk about in girl talk that could be a specific situation that you're going through a specific question you have or just a topic but yeah i thought this would be fun I got cozy and shit. I wore some biker shorts, an uh, oversized sweatshirt, and some fluffy socks. So excited. Let's, let's just get into this because I can't wait any longer. Now, I said I wanted crazy ones when I told you guys to send me some. I wanted some crazy ones. I wanted some funny ones. Ew, I'm so sorry for my ponytail. It looks so just gross. The very first one I see, I don't know how to say this girl's name. Sidden, I, I don't know. What to do when a bitch talk shit. I feel like if someone is talking shit about you, it really means that they obviously like something about you or they're jealous or you're a topic in their conversation. So it's like you have some sort of meaning to their lives. I personally take that as a compliment, <laughs> but that's just for like little, like as in they're not really saying much. They're just like basic talking shit, I guess. But if someone is genuinely like coming for you, especially on the internet or something, I mean, you kind of... <laughs> You you could just fight her. And I oh you could fight her. I, I personally wouldn't I don't like violence or I guess physical altercations. I don't like altercations period. Okay, someone worded this really weird to me, but this girl named Sam well, I don't know if I should say their names. Okay, I'm not saying their names. She said, How do I get better for my man when we are in the bed? I feel like that just means how do I prep myself for when I want to sleep with my man. I have a few tips. Obviously, if you want me to do like a whole routine, I was thinking about filming like a getting ready for a dick appointment video, which is kind of weird, but <laughs> I feel like it'd be fun though. But I definitely have a few tips I can share with you in this video because I did get this question a lot. Okay, so number one thing, exfoliate. Because we all know that I'm gonna say shave, like everybody wants to shave. People forget that you also have to exfoliate with that too. You know, down there when you shave down there, you have to exfoliate a good amount too. You don't want like hair bumps and stuff. You guys ask me a lot like what's my shaving routine and stuff. Sometimes I'll exfoliate before and after and I take a men's razor because I just feel like it gets the job done quicker and I will use a conditioner, any conditioner but just a thick moisturizing one and I'll put that on the area that I want to shave and then I will shave in the opposite direction as the hair grows. So that's how I personally do that. But then after the shower, something that I feel like is important that a lot of girls don't do after the shower is putting coconut oil down there. I don't know if this is 100% facts, but I heard it balances out your pH. Coconut oil is a must. Also, whenever a guy goes down on you and they kind of taste that, it'll probably tastes good I'm assuming. <laughs> Ooh, this one needs to be answered. How can I truly stop caring about someone who treats me disrespectfully? I want to answer this one because I got so many of these messages like countless messages saying like this guy cheated on me or this guy pretty much is disrespecting me in some sort of way but how do I get over him or do I leave him? Um, You, you can't. <laughs> you can't like truly be with a guy and truly care about a guy if he's disrespecting you. Like it's not gonna work because he doesn't truly love you then, you know? In my head, that's how I look at it. But if you're asking the part where you're like, okay, I know I can't be with him. How do I get over this and stuff? Because the majority was that type of question. The first step is realizing like, okay, I'm being treated disrespectfully. I need to get out of the situation, right? So the second part is really detaching yourself. Now that can take different amounts of time. For me personally, I felt like it took like a month and some change maybe for me to like really tell myself like I'm being disrespected, I need to leave. But yeah, I pretty much just kept building my confidence, kept trying to be more independent in every aspect that I could. And then one day I was just ready, I was just fed up and I just left, I had things planned out enough to where I could do that. That's really how I did it and I hung out with a lot of my friends because when you have to leave a guy that's disrespecting you I feel like it kind of sucks because you're like I didn't do anything wrong my relationship shouldn't have ended But you know it just has to so I would recommend just planning a lot of things to do with your friends And plan stuff with 
even just like your parents or family members like whatever just go out and do things meet new people have fun try new things like that was my whole like checklist for every day pretty much was like trying something new try and hang out with someone that either i need to rekindle with like because when i was in the relationship i felt like i lost connection with a bunch of those friends so i rekindled everything tell yourself like you are the sh you can do this you're strong and you don't need him literally god made you you one person not two but one for a reason i feel like this one might have been the most asked question i got a lot of girls asking me do i compare myself to other girls online or in real life and how can i stop comparing myself to other girls if you already do it I feel like we all compare ourselves to other girls, especially on the internet. Oh my gosh. I would say I don't do it as much in real life, but I do it on the internet a lot, just naturally. But you have to remember, we're not even going over the whole like, oh, Instagram has pictures of unrealistic body types and like a lot of people will either Photoshop or just kind of look unique. And so a lot of us feel like we can't attain that look. But the thing is, is we don't really need that look. If you are comparing yourself to girls, whether it be online or in real life, I would suggest just taking a step back to think about how you are with yourself and your self-love and self-appreciation really. Because you might love yourself and think you're a cool person and all that jazz, but do you really like appreciate who you are and your humor and unique things about you and stuff like that. I feel like when you go into detail and you appreciate those little tiny details is when you'll really start to not give a fuck about the other girls. Like you're just gonna be like, I'm the shit. <laughs> Ew, someone literally asked, is it embarrassing to queef during sex? I would say to that, it's not embarrassing. And if the person makes you feel embarrassed about it, like they, they laugh in like a bad way or they say something about it or they just stop completely or something, then I would say they're a sh person and you probably shouldn't be messing with them because then they are thinking about your feelings and that's like a huge pet peeve of mine people not thinking about other people's feelings you know you got to that's always got to be in play i'm getting a lot of period questions like when did i start my period someone said how often do i have it um i have it every month and what happened your first time getting yours my first period was in sixth grade i believe i was 12 i don't know i'm not good with like ages <laughs> and grades i can't remember those but i was in sixth grade and i remember it was at like the end of the school day and i looked and it was there a little bit and i told my mom and we went to target and got some pads and stuff my period was like at first it came every month from the start and it was pretty light and normal but then around late sixth grade to seventh grade i was having really bad problems with cramps tmi whatever i don't give a fuck <laughs> i was having really heavy periods and so i ended up my freshman year i went on birth control so that I could calm that down and it actually did. I had way less cramps. I could go to school way more. I was always out of school because of cramps. Sometimes I was lying a little bit, but for real, whenever I did have cramps for my period, it was pretty painful. And the birth control really helped that. I don't really get cramps that much. When I do, they only last for a few minutes at a time and they come in like little waves. And my periods these days are pretty normal. Like they're not heavy. They're not super light though or anything. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with my period though, if that makes sense. Like I don't know if that sounds weird it's gotten to a place where it's pretty good you know and birth control keeps it pretty steady like it's been normal for a very long time surprisingly i got this one a lot too advice on jealous boyfriends literally throw them away no we're not having it not 2019 jealous boyfriends are not a thing anymore so i would say don't let a boy be jealous i know that's a weird sentence but if a boy starts acting jealous like put him in his place because that's not going on here if he has a good point you gotta listen. You gotta be understanding. <laughs> and that's on you. <laughs> but if he's jealous, especially over dumb stuff like, I don't know, whose pictures you're liking or who you're texting or something, like, no, we're not having that. Don't let a boy invade your privacy, please. Don't let boys go through your phone whenever they feel like it. They don't have to have the password to your phone. They don't need anything like that. Like, that's not on a fucking contract whenever you have a relationship. It's a big invasion of privacy. Like, I would hate it if I was dating someone that went through my phone. I know it's kind of a younger person thing. Like, back then, it's not that bad. Because little kids, they don't really do anything bad. Like, there's nothing really on their phones. I hope. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. Someone said, had awful sex with the kid, and now I can't look him in the face. <laughs> 
without laughing. What would you do, lol? Well, number one, don't laugh at him. That's so mean because he might just be really nervous and might just really like you a lot or something. But I would say sit down with him, tell him how you feel, and in your mind, I feel like you know what he could have done different. Voice that to him, talk to him about it, and I would say that'd be good. He should be pretty understanding. I don't see why he wouldn't be. Pretty much this girl is really close with a group of friends, but her ex is in that group of friends. And she literally said, do you think it'd be healthy if I mend ties just so we can be around each other? I would say it's not healthy at all to mend ties just because you want to like stop drama. It needs to be because you really like him, you know? Okay, so I didn't realize at the time that she said mend ties. Mend ties just means like become friends again. <laughs> And I didn't realize that at the time. I don't know if that's because I was high or just because it just went over my head. <laughs> but yeah, so sorry. I do think it's a good idea that you mend ties. You said y'all aren't on bad terms. Text him first and like just be like, hey, is it cool if we hang around each other by the way? Like, I just feel like it'd be easier for everybody. And hopefully he's cool with it because that would suck to not be able to hang out with your friends because they're with your ex. Like that would be like literally the worst thing to happen ever. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. This was a really fun video for me to film and I wanna do it again. So let me know if you liked it by giving it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to. Thank you to everyone who sent me questions or topics or whatever or commented them. I love you guys so much. Thank you for clicking on this video and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.